Reading food labels is important in helping guide us to make good decisions about the food we eat. It's the best way to get information about the nutrients in our foods. And it's also one of the best ways to help make better choices and eat healthier. Let's take a look and go through a food label now. Look for the nutrition facts on the food label. Under this, the number of servings in the container are shown, and then the serving size. All the information below is for this serving size. If you eat the entire package of this food, it would be eight servings total, so you would multiply all the information below times eight. The calories are also shown here, which are 230 per each serving. Next, the total fat is listed. Most people need between 40 and 75 grams of total fat daily. Under the total fat, there are specific types of fat listed, such as saturated and trans fat. Both these types of fats are considered less healthy for us. Monounsaturated and polyunsaturated fats are much healthier. Cholesterol is listed next, and under that is sodium. This food item has 160 milligrams of sodium per serving. In general, foods under 300 milligrams of sodium are considered low to moderate in sodium. Watch the number of servings though, since most Americans eat too much sodium. For this food, if you ate four servings, you would be taking in 640 milligrams of sodium. If you're limiting your sodium to 2,000 milligrams a day, this is a little over a third of your daily intake. Below the sodium, we come to total carbohydrates. Some people, like those with diabetes, may want to control the amount of carbohydrate they eat. Under the total carbohydrate, there's a breakout of different types of carbohydrates, which includes fiber and sugar. Fiber is very healthy for us, and most people need to eat more. Try to pick foods with at least three grams of fiber per serving. Sugars are listed next, and it's important to notice there's a big difference between sugar that naturally occurs in a food, like a piece of fruit or milk, and the sugar that's added. We don't worry about the sugar naturally found in food. However, added sugars are not good for our health, and we should try to limit these since they can lead to many diseases. A good idea is to limit added sugars to no more than 30 to 55 grams a day. These add up quickly though, so check labels for them. Protein is after carbohydrates on the food label. Most people need around 60 to 100 grams of protein a day. Next comes vitamins and minerals. These have changed with the new food label and the focus is now on vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. These are nutrients most people do not get enough of each day. Look for products that are good sources of these nutrients. Food items that have 20% or more daily value for any nutrient is considered to be a very good source of that nutrient. On this label, we see this food item is a very good source of both calcium and iron. Now, there's one last scene to show you that can really help you make easy, better choices. Right under the calories on the right-hand side is the percent daily value. This shows the percentage of the different nutrients that food provides based on a 2,000 calorie diet. Here on the right side of the label, you will find the percentages that you can use to make better choices. In general, if a food has 20% or more of a nutrient, it's higher in that nutrient. So that's good news if it's for fiber or any of those vitamins and minerals listed below at the bottom of the label. However, if it's 20% for sodium, or any of the less healthy parts of the food, that's not so good. For the less healthy nutrients like saturated fat and sodium, try to choose foods that have no more than 5% daily value. As a reminder, keep the serving sizes in mind. This food is only 7% daily value for sodium, but if you eat more than one serving, that's really gonna start to add up. For more information on food labels, please view our label reading handout.